Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment time? I think y'all can hear me. Hold on. Hold up. How y'all doing at this moment in time? Just wanted to come on and talk to y'all for a little moment. But before we get off into that, <clears throat> let's get off into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us and guide us and guard us and protect us throughout this day. Lead us throughout this day. And I pray, Father God, that you come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people absolute truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people absolute truth. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. Hold on. Now, what I want y'all to know is, uh, all right, for the last past couple of days, I know I have been going through some things, and I know some people have been going through some things too. Like I told y'all what was going on And you don't have to believe me But I want y'all to know what's happening <clears throat> At this moment in time Now they got these spirits and these demons on this planet right Which are here Because you know heaven is coming to earth Well has come to earth But at the same time <clears throat> You got these enemies that's trying to uh, make themselves out of you. And I rebuke it and I bind it up and I cast it down because they know their time is near. They know judgment day is here for them. They come, it's happening. Not only that, they trying to escape it and still live. Through you when they leave, when they vessel leave. Are you getting what I'm saying here? They try to transport bodies. Throw a demon. Me in a different case. But in the same case, this enemy, Satan, have been trying to um, come through my vessel. Which he know that he can't come through my vessel because I am one of God's child. Right? I don't speak about the things that everybody speak about. The reason why is because I know Satan's fear. You understand? Satan is afraid of death. Yeah, he pushes all that stuff and all that weird and, and bad stuff on other people because he's afraid. The same bully that thinks he's bad in the school time. Look, listen. The same bully that thinks he's bad in the school time and things like this here. And been, you know, like bullying people and things like this here. Is scared of you. To be honest with you, he's scared to take a, you know, a butt whipping. He's scared to be ashamed to take a butt whipping. Because he knows if he take that butt whipping, it's over with for the bully. Now, the enemy is afraid of death. So he's trying to hide. He's been jumping bodies and he's been trying to hide from God. I see him. He's been, this is, now, you can say, 
you know, if you're listening, you can say this as well. If you're righteous and you've been doing the things of God and you've been going the right way and this enemy has been jump, jumping like inside and outside the body and not breaking up, binding it up and cast it down, it is because you are righteousness. He knows you are a, 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 um, a righteous vessel and you rebuke and you revoke all his offers, his sex offers, because he, he uh, uh, his sex off, <laughs> excuse me, but he's just been trying to, what, he's, what they doing is, they playing with this AI technology, this matrix plug, right? Because they did these things, and we're going to get to that in a minute. They did these things <clears throat> to try and, uh, 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 um, so they can try and jump inside people's bodies, so they can try and come through people's bodies, so they wouldn't have to take their judgment. That they trying to use the people of God and the children of God's bodies so they can come through them and live through them throughout their lifetime. I told you all what was going on because I've been going through this stuff for years. This ain't just some stuff I'm just talking about. I've been dealing with the supernatural. Do you understand? But I'm on a whole nother level with this supernatural. Where other people are, you know, just, you know, a little, you know, down here. But not to say you have to climb in the spirit. You have to climb in the spirit. Your journey never stops with God. You understand? If you're willing to go with God, your journey never stops with God. It depends on your faith. How far you want to go. So, <clears throat> listen to me. And we're going to keep that going. But listen to me. I think, trying to mess with me, but we're going to keep this going. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to y'all at the same time and fight things at the same time. So y'all got to bear with me, okay? Because they're here. They are here. You understand? And... The enemy and his minions. And I rebuke him and I bind him up and I cast him down. So, um, the reason why is because heaven has come. And when heaven comes and, and descends onto uh, earth and things like this, it'd be uh, demons pushed out from the second heaven and, and things like this here. And they come through and, and, and um, after so long, they, you know, after they been trying to do the things that they've come to do, then um, they have to be. Uh, removed from this planet the angels and me and the angels and things and, and father God and them and we remove them from this planet because um, they have to leave um, they can't stay here no longer they know they have they gonna be cast into the lake of fire the minute they like almost like try and touch down here and that's what's been going on when they come through these portals and things like this when the heaven descends every time it descends it um it releases um you know things upon this planet because it is it is the kingdom of God. God deals with demons, spirits, and souls. I tell people this when I teach them this all the times, and you have to learn about the Lord because the Lord is spirit. He is um he is so he is spirit. You know he is the the main manufacturer of spirits, um and all things, um. You have to understand this. You have to know because a lot of people don't don't believe in the supernatural. A lot of people don't believe in the things that they hear from certain people because they don't get the real knowledge. But when someone speak it to a person and things like this and give it to them the way that they need to be given to, then the person will understand the concept of how it's being given to them. And when it's being given to them like that, then... They're able to like, okay, well, I see what you're saying. and Because you have to break it down for them because they don't understand. They're not, some people are not with God. Some people don't, um, some people don't believe in the supernatural. Some people believe in the supernatural. And some people just don't go that far with the supernatural. They say, okay, I know I believe you. I know it's there, but I ain't trying really to, you know, really trying to get into that, you know, but. When I give it to them the way I give it to them and break it down for them, then they understand how okay this can happen. 
like this and then that's why it happened that's why so now this enemy has been trying to come through me but this is his tactic this is what they've been doing and this is what they tried to do use the ai technology listen and i'm gonna give you another note too because i want y'all to uh be able to break these things off of you <clears throat> you start uh prophesying and you start uh praying to the father and tell the father and your angels because you have angels to pull this ai technology out of the back of your head in this matrix plug you understand pull it out of your memory bank and pull it out of your akashic records they also have been trying to steal the knowledge and the things of god i'm on to everything that they be trying to do i don't play I'm not here for that. I know what they be trying to do. And for the same thing that they thinking that they been trying to steal and thinking that they're going to be able to use it or obtain it, they're not going to be able to use it. It's going to be worthless by the time they try and use it. You understand? Because it is the way the Lord made things. We already know that you're going to try and steal it. Because you're demons. And then when they use it, they're not going to know how to use it the way they think that they're supposed to be using it. So it's going to become a dud. You get what I'm saying here? Because they're demons. They can't think. They can't create. They can only steal and destroy. They can't create. That's why I know. That's why when you try and steal something or, or anything, you're going to mess it up. You're going to mess it up. I know this. Ain't no if and buts about this. <laughs> I know this. Which is what everybody that tries to do it, it only lasts for a split second. And then they right back to doing the same thing again. And they wonder why. Nothing that you get from the enemy is lifelong. You understand? You wasting your time. You wasting your time. You just you you're fabricating a lie. You're fabricating. You you defeating the purpose. They're defeating the purpose when they could have had the real thing and live for a lifetime. But no, nobody wants the real thing. They want the duplicate. <laughs> I stopped doing that too. I don't know where that's coming from. But I just want y'all to know because they have been doing these things and they, they, so when you go to God, you pray to him and you ask him to pull that, um, and your angels and your protection to pull that, that, uh, um, that matrix plug out of your head. And, um, The matrix plug and the AI technology out of your out of your uh, Akashic records and your memory bank. Cause I told you they have been trying to like steal people's um, and wipe people's. Man, I'm tired of them. I'm tired of them. I'm really sick and tired of them. Like serious. But you rebuke this enemy. You revoke this enemy. And what he's been trying to do is he's been pushing uh, sex, sex, literally like sex demons and sex. Like, don't go for it. Rebuke it. Refuse his office. Rebuke his office. Revoke his office. Denounce his office. Because they're not real. Anything he's trying to love bomb you with is not real. God's going to do a thing. When he's going to do a thing, he's going to do it on his time. And when, you, when he does it, it's going to be uh, uh, amazing. You understand? Because that's what they've been trying to do. They have been trying to stop him from doing what he's doing in earth. They cannot stop this. They will not stop this. And I'll prophesy, declare, and decree on the sound of my voice I command it. I want y'all to know because it's real. 
it's what I deal with is on a level where it's only one that knows these things is Jesus and God. <laughs> you can't obtain this. No man can obtain the knowledge that I have. I don't care how much you try and piece it together, put it together, own it. Yeah, it, 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 it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It don't belong to me. It belongs to God. And he will make a way where you will, be not, you will not be able to understand it. You can try all you want. Just like the same way they tried to climb, to climb up in heaven <laughs> with that ladder. <laughs> the Lord will make a way where you won't understand it. <laughs> you understand? So, <laughs> that's why I be telling people. You know, um, some things I be worried about, but some things I just can't worry myself with it no more, you know. And I just had to just, like, give it over to God because I do a lot of fighting and a lot of fighting things to try and hold things and try and grapple things because they been trying to attack people and just won't let people heal and people in broken cycles, people that let go, all these things. All these things, you hear me? So now that we've broken all these cycles and all these uh, spells and curses and things like this here, and I rebuke them, I bind them up, and I cast them down. They're mad. They're trying to figure out a way to uh, uh, because they they getting their judgment, they come, they getting it right now. Like the, all their cities, all the countries, they getting it right now. Because they were told to cut the people loose. All they had to do was cut the people loose. All they had to do was let his people go. That's all he they had to do. But, you know, God hardens their heart. No, you have to but you also have to you also have to stand the test of time yourself. You understand? You have to fight when there's no more fight in you. You have to keep fighting. No matter what. Keep fighting. Because, I'm going to tell you something. In just a little minute, that door got to open. Mm -hmm. That door got to open. They've been trying to close it and keep it from, from, from coming open and keep people from being the success that they wanted to be. And this is another thing, too, I want to get to, because this is why I came on here. reason why I came on here and talking about these things is because uh, I want y'all to know excuse me, how they trying to live their lives off us. They already do a lot of stealing and, and, and trying to steal ideas and things like this here, but they also try and live their lives through us, through spell work, by walking in our energy and trying to walk in the favor and the blessings of God. I spoke about this on the last testimony. They still doing it. They still doing it. Because they want other people's lives. This is your government officials. This is how they uh, uh, piggyback off everybody else's when the other person has worked so hard with God for. And it ain't right. It's got to be justice here. And I prophesied, declared, decree on the sound of my voice, I commanded, and I called judgment upon this matter at this moment in time. I called judgment upon it, and I, I pray, Father God, that you, you see to it. No one else shall be able to walk in the favor and the blessings of a person that has worked for God. For no demon shall be able to walk in the favor and the blessing of a person that has worked so hard for, uh, 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 with God, has walked with God. Not only just me, 
but everybody else, the saints, the body of Christ, the hundred four four thousand, the children of God, the people of God, the people of the planet, the poor people of the planet, the chosen ones, all their family, all their kids, or me and my kids, everybody out there, it is more than me. It is a lot of those people out there that have been walking with God and things like this here. And these enemies have stolen these people's lives through uh, spell work by trying to walk in the favor and the blessings on these people's lives and their destinies that God has for these people's lives. That is a no-no. That's why they have to leave here. And I prophesy, I declare and I decree, and I command it and demand it in the name of Jesus Christ. No demon that is not from heaven, no demon can walk in the favor, in the blessing of another man's treasure, of another man's rewards from God. You cannot do it. These things and this, these matters have to be settled in court. And they have to forget right now. It's to the point where we can't go to court. It has to be settled right now. Forget the court sessions right now. The court things look like they're not dealing with it because the court is, it's just they keep doing it. We've been through it. We case closed all these cases and all these things, all these cycles and all these things. And they keep trying to do the same thing over and over again as if God hasn't said nothing. So therefore, we have to take action. Action has to be taken. Justice has to be prevailed, Father. Oh my goodness. Justice has to be prevailed. It has to come through. I don't care how it come through, but it has to come through. Justice has to be given back. And I pray and I prophesy the cloud and creep, Father God, that all all these folks' blessings and promises and favor on their lives be given back to them throughout the whole entire planet, throughout the whole entire universe. I pray and I prophesy the clan decree on the sum of what I commanded. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because it's only right that it has been given back to them, their birthrights, their 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 uh their blessings, all right, their blessings, their promise. The things that you promised them, Father. You said your promise would not fall to the ground. For no one. For the ones who obtained, obtained your promise. Obtained the blessings and the favor of God. It has to be given to them by right. And their birthrights. And everything that they've earned. In this planet and in heaven. It has to be given back to them. And that is a must. That is an order. I prophesy. I declare and I decree and on the sound of my voice. I command it. And I demand it. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is what goes on here. These enemies, they try to live their lives through us because they're money hungry, they're greedy, they're demons. They use these things to try and come through us, use our energy and all these things to try and manifest their houses and cars and things like this here. Money, all these things. They use our energy, our energy from heaven for what is stolen in the kingdom of heaven has to be rendered back to the person double fold some triple for what the enemy has been caught he has been caught stealing and when the enemy has been caught stealing he has to pay back double this is the law
This is the law. I don't care how much you try and say in, in all these things that goes on. This is the law. Nothing should come between this. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. This is the law. Because that's what is, is it's written. It's written. It's written. It's written. It's written. For who? For the man that stole of a man mew, it shall give back that man uh, 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 a mule in some. You know? Um, for a man who um, stolen a man's crop, have to pay double for, you know, for what he's stolen. If he's been caught, and he's been caught. You know, these enemies have been caught stealing. All of them has been caught stealing. Not just the enemy, but all of them have been caught. We've brung them to justice. All of them have been caught. They have to pay back. And that is an order. And I command and demand it. That is an order. Fly around all you want. That is an order. Instead of dropping things. I'm tired of this place. I love Mother, I love uh, Mother Gaia, but I'm a little tired of this place right now. And I'm, a tired, I'm tired of these battles and things. Don't want to let us heal. Just constantly. People tired. They want what's right do, Father. They want what's right. They want their justice. And as an elder of the people, Father God, I demand justice. And I command justice. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command it. And I demand it. Justice for everybody on the planet that these enemies have stolen and taken from. Even lives. From way, way back then. That even these people's grandparents and parents and parents. Justice has to be served. Freedom has to come. Total freedom. By all means necessary. We must do what is just fit. And so it is. As above, so as it is below. So I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ this moment in time, get into some prayer, some fast, some praying, some reading your word, be a relationship with the Lord, commune with the Lord. And uh, this is God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed. Amen.